to speak up. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, I will present on farm comparison of two liquid dairy manure application method in terms of odor and ammonia emission and the cost. Is it better right now? So first, I would like to introduce co-authors. Uh, Mario Deharo Marty is an extension educator. Um, Wilson Gray is an extension economist. Howard Nibling, irrigation and water management specialist. Mirai Sheehan is a dairy specialist. Sai is a graduate student. All of us from uh, University of Idaho. <coughs> For today's presentation, I will give you a brief background, objective of this project, uh, what we did, what we have learned, summary, and acknowledgement. So dairy production is the single largest agriculture revenue for Idaho. Currently, Idaho is the third largest milk production state in the U.S. By end of January this year, Ida had uh, about 550 dairy operations with 580,000 milking cows. Over 70% of these cows located in Magic Valley, southern Idaho. So the number of dairy using flushing system resulting in a huge amount of waste which is applied to the cropland near the lagoons using the ventilation system during crop growing season. So the volatilization ammonia from uh, irrigating land is not only a loss of valuable nitrogen, also cause air pollution. So the concentrated dairy production in a limited area such as the Magic Valley has caused air and water quality concerns. How capture the uh, Nitrogen in the soil and reduce other emission a kind of big challenge facing either dairy industry. Uh, the direct injection manure incorporates manure underneath the soil, thus minimizing the odor and ammonia emission. So with the current equipment, manure can be successfully injected into both the conventional tillage and non-till system and has been approved, proven in other regions uh, to effectively handle the odor and ammonia issues. So our objective for this project is uh, demonstrate and evaluate and uh, promote widespread adoption manure injection measure in, in Idaho for mitigating odor and ammonia emission. So for those purposes, uh, first a uh, manure application field day was held on a uh, dairy in, in Bill, southern Idaho. The dairy had uh, about 3,500 milking cows managed in a uh, free stall and open nut mix setup. About 60% of dairy housed in the free stalls. So waste was flushed from, from lands next to the feeding alleys and from milk and parlor. So with water passed through the liquid, uh, solid removal equipment and the basins, then into three lagoons in, in a series. The manure used for the uh, field day and the demonstration trial was from the last lagoon. At that time, the lagoon had about nine million gallons of manure there, and its sludge had been not cleaned for five years. Uh, the lagoon was agitated before and during the field demonstration using a floating mixing pump. Manure pumped from the lagoon directly to the uh, field, then the drag houses. So for the for uh, comparison purpose, uh, both the surface broadcast and deep injection were demonstrated using the same equipment. The injection placed the manure behind the behind the shanks uh, in a band approximately 20 centimeters around 
eight inches deep. The surface broadcast was realized, just lift the shanks above the ground, so manure just apply on the soil surface. Uh, we test these uh, two on different sites at at each of the at each of the site. Um, a square plot of about 3,600 square meter in the west part of the, the field uh, was for a surface broadcast and the rest of the field for a, a injection. Uh, choose the west port, uh, part of the land for the surface broadcast because on the days we demonstrate and uh, test this technique, the wind from north so the manure is uh, applied from east to west and back again until the site was finished. The shank, the, the equipment shank was lift only when the equipment was in the designated surface plot area. So after manure application, three towers each uh, one and a half meter high were placed in a north to south orientation with 15 meter spacing. The middle one was placed at the middle of, at the center of the surface uh, broadcast plot, plot. Another three tower was placed in a deep injection field parallel to the three one in the surface broadcast uh, plot, they're about 200 meter apart to avoid or minimize the cross contamination between the two methods. Another three tower was placed upwind north of the, the site. The passive ammonia sampler were installed on each the the tower at the height of half and one meter to uh, measure the ammonia concentration at each, lo at each location. The sampler was changed approximately every 24 hours uh, over two day period. So the concentration from the passive sampler uh, was the time average concentration for amount of time the, the sampler was exposed to the to the air. Also air sample were were collected from test site one right after the manure application. So a sample from uh, each tower at one meter above ground were collect for for the other sample from each each the, the tower located into the surface broadcast deep injection in the background. So total total nine air samples were collected and analyzed for the other concentration. Also for each test site, uh, a grab of one liter manure were collected for analyzing the pH and total and nitrogen content. And a soil temperature probe and the death log were used uh, a place beneath a three meter, a three centimeter below the soil to record uh, soil temperature in a uh, 15 minutes increment. Uh, weather data were obtained uh, from local Bill Airport about uh, six miles away from the test site uh, because the, the failure of uh, mobile weather station is set on the site. Uh, we also conduct cost analysis for four different manual no. application uh, systems. The table one shows the uh, manure and the result. So the two sides almost identical. The manure application rate is uh, 20 thousand gallon per acre for for all the test sites. The table two shows the weather data and the soil temperature data. This is kind of a typical weather in the later fall in southern Idaho. 
uh, this other result so the average concentration were 44, 61, and 92 other units per cubic meter that the background uh, okay. and the surface broadcast. Okay. Um, the statistical test showed the collaborators and spin difference between between the background and, and the injection, but there were significant uh, difference between the background and the surface broadcast. Also, the, the field they attended, they feel they're really much I mean, different in their other perception between the two manure application methods. Uh, this ammonia data from test site one, so the, the data showed 82% and 64% reduction in ammonia concentration for the first and second sampling days, respectively, when you compare two different manure application methods. This from test side two, uh, there shows 64 and 41 reduction in ammonia concentration. Uh, similar to uh, test, test side one, so the first day have a higher ammonia concentration in the air, and second day is lower. I disagree with the other results. Also, the, the stretch test showed there there are significant difference between the two mass based on the p-value of uh, 0.05. Um, uh, this is a cost analy a cost calculation based on uh, I think the ownership cost and the operating cost. The our data showed the subsurface injection measure has higher cost mainly due to the need of larger tractor and the lower operating speed. Uh, I want to mention we did not include the equipment time associated with refilling the tank system. That's why we, we see there, there are kind of big difference between the, the tank system and the drag cost system. Um, since we rough just take probably four minutes to discharge the tank, see for a 7,500 gallon tank. So ideally, additional equipment is desirable in a time fashion to refill the tank. If that we definitely will increase uh, investment in, in the equipment, and also reduce the number of acres so covered per hour. So that's why we have a much higher per acre cost for a drag house, uh, but not, not the, the tank, tank system. Um, summary, the injection can reduce both odor and ammonia emission. So therefore, uh, applying liquid air manure using the subsurface injection uh, can be recommended uh, one of the best uh, management practice so to control ammonia and other emission. The estimated cost associated with the uh, injection were higher than surface broadcast. But if you consider the higher value, nitri nitrogen fertilizer annual capture in the soil through the injection method, probably that can compensate the, the, the higher Costs associated with the injection method. Uh, this project was supported by USDA, SROA, CIG. Uh, we would also like to thank uh, Dr. April Latham and Miles Miner, both from uh, Northwest Irrigation Soil Research Lab, for their help with uh, analysis of ammonia samples. Uh, I would also thank you for your time and attention. Any questions or comments?